What's happening, folks? So this is a little add-on I'm going to put at the beginning of a Lucky Dip reaction I did for a tune Izzy sent me. And indeed, uh, he sent me a track which is from a soundtrack uh, from a film, or to a film, and I didn't realize because the way the artist was listed was cast of fame, parentheses, movie soundtrack. So during the video, I say the film title as cast of fame. I realize now the film is just called Fame, and indeed, um, in a way, I'm pleased because during the video, um, you'll see, it's like, oh man, I'm picking up on some late 70s vibes with the, the music, uh, but I ultimately am cautious about um, assessing when the film is from, or because basically, you know, you can do soundtrack that is in a style of an earlier, um, you know, a genre of earlier decades. Nevertheless, the point is, I picked up on the late 70s vibes, and apparently the film was from 1980, so... Um, in one way, I'm pleased that my brain was able to find the right space, although, as you'll see, I flunk myself in terms of um, the last couple reactions. Oh, look who it is. Luca just comes out of some unknown place. Uh, in any case, uh, yeah, I figure I'll save us, you know, the time that, because uh, people will definitely comment, like, wait, it's not called Cast of Fame, so I realize that now. I do apologize. In any case, here is the normal intro and the rest of the video. What's happening, people? Back with another reaction, back with another lucky dip, and it's another Izzy dip. And listen to another tune he sent me in the most recent batch. And this one appears to be score from a film, which I believe is called Cast of Fame. Do I have that right? It's not a film I've seen. Uh, let me make sure. Yeah, Cast of Fame. And the track, I believe, is called I Sing the Body Electric, which, if you didn't know, is also the name of a poem by Walt Whitman who sounds his barbaric yops over the rooftops of the world. I'll stop being silly, but uh, yes, ultimately that is the name of a Whitman poem, so I assume on some level there's a connection, whether it's just in terms of some of the ideas expressed in that poem, which admittedly, it's been a while, um, I haven't read it. I, I've not um, read it in a while, but it is, the, it is a line that I've seen adapted in many different ways, like um, you know, I sing the synthesizer electric, like I've seen people take it and modify it, adapt it to a number of different pop culture um, concepts or uh, phenomena. So ultimately, um, I'm not quite sure, you know, if there is a connection, if I'll even actually be able to catch it, because um, it, it's been a while since I read the poem. But yeah, not knowing the movie and not having read the poem in a while, I'm not sure um, what to expect in terms of any lyrics. Fair to say, you know, it could be like proper score, but even then, um, you know, scores, especially in um, films in the last uh, couple decades, I would say, they incorporate all different kinds of music. It's not just like orchestra score. So um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what to expect sonically or thematically, but I guess that's the point of a lucky dip. So. Let's listen. This is, I believe, from the film Cast the Fame, and it's a track called I Sing the Body Electric. <laughs> beginning of an ad. Thank you. 
rock feeling. section to say the least and yet at the same time it was sort of jumping back and forth between the different percussion and rhythm schemes um, yeah I mean along the way we get orchestra feel we get proper score feel we get I don't know like 70s rock there were a couple moments including you know those like big like group vocals by the end that were making me think of you know some 70s tunes so I don't know like it felt like the production was more modern it felt like this was um, perhaps a track that's paying homage to some musical styles going back decades, but maybe was made more recently. Um, again, not knowing the movie, um, yeah, I don't know, uh, like, I, I have no context for when this might take place. And again, like, score, I think, is even harder to pin down than if, you know, you're listening to, like, say, punk rock or something, where it's like, okay, you know, I can tell this is 80s punk versus, like, 90s or even post-2000, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, uh, it felt like there was some 70s vibes, but that the production may have been more modern, and that was just kind of a throwback. So basically, I have no idea, so I'm failing out of class the last couple uh, Lucky Dip reactions. Uh, hopefully my early uh, solid scores will get me like a solid B for the semester, maybe a C. Uh, either way, uh, we'll have another one from Philip's uh, category. And fair to say, um, Adam, um, if you end up seeing this, and if you don't, I'll probably email you. Um, but, you know, he's been sharing all sorts of music with me, too. Another one who has just, like, a crazy large music collection, very well organized. And there's been a couple times where he's asked um, for reactions, like Shiny Toy Guns was one that I reacted to recently, um, or one of their tracks. Um, so I may start just going through his crazy collection and just kind of picking out stuff at random and doing Lucky Dips in the same way. So basically there might be more and more Lucky Dips, and per perhaps if there's, like, you know, three places that I'm getting them from, it'll kind of help me to remember to like go around in a rotation. So, um, yeah, bottom line, we'll keep them coming. Uh, the next one will come from Philip's collection. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think of this. I really enjoyed it. I, the more, en like, as it went along, it became more and more energetic. I was, my appreciation for it was growing more and more. And then it was, I thought it was about to end. It was like, man, that was fantastic. And then it broke it down and it got very, um, I don't know, um, 
like stripped down and kinetic. It felt very like personal rhythmic and kind of, you know, people kind of grooving and jamming with each other. And then it kind of went big again with those immersive group vocals. So it was a crazy ride that I didn't know, you know, where we'd end up. Um, so yeah, it does make me curious about the film and perhaps, you know, in what context that track was used. And, you know, again, mostly when it comes to film soundtracks, you hear like parts of tunes in the film and then you get the full thing, like with maybe the exception of an end credit um, track that's used for the, you know, the full duration because it runs the end credits. But um, yeah, it makes me curious about, you know, when in a film you might use something like this or even just part of it. So in any case, shout out to Izzy. Let me know what you think of this one. I'll see you next time. Peace.